Welcome to the Restless Creatives podcast. Comfortable chats with inspirational creatives. Hosted by three self-confessed restless creatives, Lucy Hunter, Fiona Pickles and Bridget Girling. This week we're so excited because we have our very own restless creative, an amazing floral artist, Lucy Hunter, telling us all about her wonderful, gorgeous new book that's now available in bookshops across the world. The book is called The Flower Hunter, seasonal flowers inspired by nature and gathered from the garden. Oh, that that wasn't very subtle, was it? (laughs) I'm afraid it can't be subtle anymore. (laughs) We are definitely recording. Yeah. Oh, you need to accept, Luce, otherwise you can't tell us about your book. But I can't because it's not on. Oh God, hang on. Right, you got to say got it. (laughs) Oh, look at that yellowiness. You look lovely. You've got that sort of autumn glow about you. I'll have to turn the camera off and then turn it back on again. Oh, for goodness sake! Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. It's not sorry at all. I am. <laughs> Got it. Right. Have you accepted that we're recording? I have. Now Good. I'm going to turn the camera back on. Good. <laughs> do we get a running commentary of the whole yeah. thing? <laughs> oh, God. How do I do that then? The same way you did a bit earlier. Oh, my Lord. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to. Sorry. I'm sorry, girls. Who would think we've had six months off? <laughs> yeah, who knew? We've who not thought about this for six months. Possibly tell. <laughs> is it six months? Well, it must be six yeah, months. It must, it must be. be longer, mustn't it? Oh, there she is. But oh, now yeah. that's a different view of you. You've what changed. have you done? Because, hang on, just bear don't shout. Please don't shout. <laughs> Very aggressive. No, it's still... Oh, oh. there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly <laughs> stressed. Yeah, that was very peculiar. <laughs> because you had to say "got it" to record. <laughs> exactly. Well, I've got two screens. See, it's and that very... long. It's since we last did it because we didn't exactly. have to do that before. Oh, okay. Well, oh, you started recording before we did it. No, so... it's a requirement now. Everybody okay, so every time we have to say. Oh, yeah. really? Mm-hmm. Oh, which is fair enough because you could be being recorded without your knowledge and. Yeah, you could. Say all sorts. You could. Yes. We say all sorts of anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so come on then, Deuce. Look, look, what? look what I got on the post today. I don't know. Did yours arrive today then? So did mine. I took Hetty for a walk after lunch and I came back and there's this parcel. Oh, yes. Mine looks back to front. Uh, on the screen. Got your... Oh, well, it looked right to me. Oh, yours looked right to me. Mine That's looks peculiar, right to me. It? Anyway, anyway, I know it's arrived. And finally, finally, because they were all on the container. It's been so stressful because they were supposed to be released on the 6th of October. Well, when did we have the book launch? Now, that was the 6th, wasn't it, of October? I oh, think it was the 9th, wasn't it? The 9th, that's it, on the Tuesday. <laughs> and they sent me an email saying, sorry, they're stuck on a container ship and it's gone back to Rotterdam. And I'm like, and you were what? going to row out and get them, weren't you? Exactly, yeah. And did you? No. No. Well, you should have done them. <laughs> but you did get them because I saw a beautiful picture of piles of them in your studio. Yes, yes, they arrived the other day and I've been packing like a mad, mad packing thing, things. sending sending them all out, which seemed like a really good idea at the time. I bought, I really enjoyed buying lots of nice tissue paper and I had little stickers made and I gave me some mark, bookmarks and I thought, oh, it'd be so nice. And then, you're, and then you've got this huge pile of books and it's like, oh, oh my God. Christmas Eve on overdrive, yeah. isn't it? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Wrap yeah. all those presents quick. <laughs> and then I was the <laughs> least least popular person in the entire Rithin post office, which is yes. like a tiny, tiny post office. And I had these big bags of books, and you could see everybody behind with tutting and sighing. It's like, it's like, and there's another book. <laughs> and there's another book. <laughs> I don't know, I'm so sorry. It's another one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Fine, goodness it was like Christmas that. Eve. <laughs> Imagine. No, everybody's been so wonderful, so supportive. So yeah, so they've all they've all they've all gone. They've all sold. Well now they can get them from bookshops near they can. People can get them from bookshops near Real them, life can't book they? bookshops. Real life bookshops. <laughs> tell us it. tell us where we can get it, Luce. If we haven't been lucky enough to get <laughs> <Yes>. it. <laughs> 
so um well all over the oh. world mostly um any good independent bookseller obviously and um obviously that big place that sells lots and lots and lots of books would that be amazon yes the river yeah yeah exactly <laughs> get it from the river the river based uh, shop yeah i think they've actually sold out though in australia so um oh, yeah. hmm. so but they've um they they're doing a reprint which is amazing so um so they should be you but you can pre i'm pretty sure in australia and new zealand you can pre-order again so so that's good fabulous and wow. i think i might have no, I haven't got any left on my website. I'm sorry. I was going to say I was going to have one, but I haven't. So. Well, you have sent an awful lot out. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Shop's shut now. <laughs> the Lucy shop is shut. The signing hand <laughs> is now bandaged up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Out Never of sellotape. So out are you actually sellotape. doing any book signings anywhere exciting in the world? Well, Mr. Covid sort of played a bit, yeah had a bit to say about that but excitingly um it looks like uh, mr biden has opened the borders in the states so um i'm hopefully hopefully fingers crossed going out there in mid-feb um over san francisco to see mm. lovely max and gabriella and do a workshop there but i haven't announced details yet and then um maybe up to utah and well, then... I thought you'd say up to see you then. I thought you were coming to see yours. <laughs> well, yeah. Come with you. Yeah. You could. We could carry your baggage. My books. <laughs> in bags. Yes. <laughs> At least you said you could only get five comfortably in the same oh, that's reusable good. bag. <laughs> you imagine what we'll be like behind <laughs> loads of bags. Rucks you know the husband said, when I said, because I had 50 books yesterday to take to the post office, he said, why don't you go and get the garden trolley? I said, it's full of compost. <laughs> or wheelbarrow. wheelbarrow. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that's going to be great, isn't it? People are right, get their nice books all wrapped in tissue paper and bits of grass. And it's authentic. I was going to say, it's a little piece of loose. Customers no, might have not. something to say. It's a garden, not a bit of me. <laughs> oh dear. Some of those bulbs that they were throwing in the garden. So you've got plans yeah. anyway to, and then to hopefully York. do yeah. some. And then to New York as well. So that's the plan. We'll see. We'll see. And, um, and then maybe. See how things work out. We'll see. Yeah, mm -hmm. we'll see what's, uh, what, what comes up. Exciting. See what other offers you get. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Best offers. Yeah. I'm open to offers. <laughs> Don't say that. You'll get all no. sorts of weird offers. No, can you edit that bit out, Rich? No. <laughs> no editing. <laughs> yeah. So are you going to treat us to a little bit? Oh, shall I? Yeah. Can I read you a bit? Like Jack yeah. and Mary. I always yeah. wanted to be on Jack and Mary. Okay. I'm um, actually, because I do know the bit you're going to read, I'm just going to show the page because I don't think you've got that page open, have you? Well, I have. Oh, you have? I have, no. but I can't show it because I won't be able to read it. So you show it because I'm reading it. But look, <laughs> look this beautiful look page. I thought I'd read a bit about... A curious mind. Yeah, being curious and... Um, restless? Because I think it's restless. Be It sort of relates to what we sort of matter about quite on a lot. about bang on about there you go bridge there be. what we're interested in exactly yeah. okay <laughs> so the girl you promised me not to go to sleep while i do this no snoring or dribbling please i do tend to fall asleep when hit when listening to books <laughs> i mean prod i don't think she's saying, going to read the whole lot we're all right <laughs> i'm reading a short and cut or two. three hours later <laughs> and then <laughs> this image of you hoovering in the background <laughs> Bridget feeding the dog and, yeah. you playing the flute <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> well, I can't read the, play the flute if I'm reading the book no I? but you'll do that as an interlude <laughs> <laughs> wake everybody up anyway do read please okay. yes please, right, please, on, please I might just need to move the light because I can't see okay I feel like Jack and Nori yeah <laughs> It's like school. That's time. really showing my age, isn't it? Jack and Nora. Sit in front of the teacher with legs crossed. <laughs> I stood in my studio, hands in my apron pocket, one morning early in spring 2019. The rising sun just streaked through the window, highlighting a freshly spun cobweb in the corner and a small pot of narcissi that stood tall and leggy, suffering from slight neglect and lack of direct light on the table beyond. It was totally quiet apart from the sound of Wilson the dog gently snoring under the workbench, 
dreaming of rabbits and shoes that might be right for chewing in the boot room. The scene was one of total tranquility, and yet I felt restless. My mind flickered from one thought to another. Should I just plonk some tulips in the vase or be more adventurous with them in an urn? Should I leave the studio and go and spend a more productive morning sending emails? Would I be judged slightly insane by the strange collection of dried flowers and whimsies on the mantel behind me if I made a Zoom call later? Did I have time to rearrange it all into a thought-provoking vignette? Did I care? What on earth was in the bottom of my apron pocket and how early was too early for a waft in the garden? If I stopped to really think about it, I would have understood that at the heart of my unease was an opportunity. An opportunity I'd only ever allowed myself to dream of, but now was a reality and that had me wanting to join Wilson under the table. Are you packed? said the husband, poking his head around the door. I nodded. Come on, he said gently. What's the worst that can happen? A whirlwind of thoughts formed a series of disaster movies in my mind. She gets on the wrong plane and ends up in Outer Mongolia, said the teenager. A set of eyes with a huge pair of headphones appeared next to the husband. I hadn't even considered that as a possibility, I wailed. Well, it's unlikely, said the husband. I'm pretty sure they don't fly to Outer Mongolia from Manchester. But what if I get there and I find all my floral abilities have gone? I have nothing of any interest to say. And they discover I am, in fact, a total fraud. What? Like the skill just got on a different plane or lost on the bar baggage carousel kind of thing. Cool, said the teenager, lingering on the last two syllables. <clears throat> His head nodding to some far off beat. Exactly, I cried. Just go and enjoy it. Be curious, be yourself. Don't take that apron, said the husband, ushering me out of the door. And what if I get lost on the freeway heading out of San Francisco, never to be seen again, I said with one last desperate look at my daffodils over my shoulder who were dancing the fandango and leaning towards the sun. Then we'll come and find you, he said. My adventure was to take me to San Francisco to run a workshop with two of my floral heroes, Gabriella Salazar and Max Gill. I was completely starstruck by both of them and their floral art. <clears throat> I wasn't sure what I was bringing to the party. I really was just very ordinary, with a life filled of muddy dogs, too many cobwebs, and an unrelenting fascination for gardens and flowers. But it was that passion, and ultimately that curiosity, that opened up so many doors and opportunities in an invitation to help to host this workshop. The more I allowed myself to observe how different people interacted with and saw flowers, the further I questioned my own, own long-held beliefs that had possibly held me back from considering a creative life. I had for so long looked at the big picture outside, wondering how and if I could take the essence of those gardens, drag them inside and possibly turn them into artworks. My inner voice had kept me safe for far too long, thinking about it and rejecting it. My mark making that had come so e easily to me as a small child had been replaced with overthinking and a belief that art was just something I should do in my own free time to keep as a hobby. But by following an instinct, saying yes to opportunities offered without knowing where they would lead. I met friends who would inspire, places that opened my eyes and a belief that creativity really could be a thing. Oh, it goes on, very but i there. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think, where are you, where are you stopping? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I can tell, that's my spot. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting confused on the page. I just love that though. It's so beautiful because it, it's, it's just beautiful. the essence of you, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, thank you. It reminds me of your Instagram posts as well. <clears throat> well, I wanted to keep some of that in, you know, in really. And the publishers have been amazing with that. My editor, Annabelle, she was, she really got that. I didn't mm. want it to become just a, a book sort of saying, do this, do that. I, you know, it's, this, this is me, you know, this is, this is my, my chimp on my shoulder that tells me not to. And I wanted to tell people that actually you can, you know, um, you've just got to have a bit of belief and a bit of, let listen to that curiosity that you have inside your head, you know, and there's some, it can just lead to the most amazing opportunities mm. if you allow yourself to believe. <clears throat> I think that's very, very true. Mm -hmm. And actually you should just listen to that belief 
not really even worrying about where it might lead because if it fundamentally just makes you happy that's the most important thing isn't yeah, it yeah i think absolutely i really do think that i think and i think you become more um <clears throat> if you allow yourself, you, you, you stay creative then, don't you? Mm-hmm. You know, we, we overthink things. I don't know about you two, but my creativity dries up if I overthink, you know, if I'm sort of looking Absolutely. at my Instagram posts and thinking, is it good enough? Isn't it good enough? Yeah. It's rubbish, you know, just, just put it out there. Mm. And I think the last couple of years have really sort of exaggerated that as well, haven't they? You know, all mm. sort of any inspirations just sort of like withered and you just kind of like stuck in your four walls and it's like... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. You really touched on again that thing that we've heard so often with the creators we've spoken to about that belief that you're not good enough. Mm. Why do we do that to ourselves? I d- it's I- fear, isn't it? It's yeah. fear keeping us safe. Because I'm going to it- <coughs> bless you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> as as Fiona says, you know, so rightly, you know, if you you're you're putting yourself out there and I think creativity is such a personal thing as well isn't it it's such a um makes you feel very vulnerable doesn't it a very vulnerable thing and if you sort of dare to think you know because we're judged on it aren't we really Absolutely. you know it's yeah. it's because it's subjective well, by putting well. it out there you're allowing people to have an opinion exactly yeah so if you don't put it out there that keeps you very safe and mm-hmm. you but you, you you've got to you've got to you know and, and as you say, Bridge, you know, what's the worst that can happen? You know, and the, and I was thinking the other day, I was thinking of quotes and everything. And I, I, I thought of something, Bridge, that you said to me, gosh, probably two and a half, maybe even three years ago. I think I was wittering about something and you said to me, Lucy, <laughs> reach for the stars. And if you just only get to the moon, then that's pretty good. And that actually really, really has stayed with me really has stayed with me that I think you know and it's such a good thing for anybody to think you know just you don't know what you know go for it Mm. if I can write a book but anybody can write a book believe me (laughs) (laughs) well there's writing a book and there's creating photographs and there's doing what you've done but I absolutely take your point (laughs) because it is exquisite and I I think I've said this before I, I, I think people will take so much heart because I I suspect that people look at your Instagram and think oh my goodness she has got it made her photos are beautiful she writes beautifully and I think people will take so much from knowing that you're so self-critical and full of self-doubt and everything and it will probably give them reassurance think okay it's not just me Mm. it's everybody and it is everybody I mean we all have it Mm. and Mm you know what might look perfect from the outside isn't and Mm. there's all that oh absolutely behind it totally and all of those people that look as if they're just gliding along are not you know or they might be but they're paddling pretty hard underneath as well aren't they so so do you feel really um sort of like self-conscious and like with your head above the parapet at the moment or are you quite calm you seem quite calm about it all do you know what everybody's been so lovely <laughs> I'm waiting for, yeah maybe but um uh, I think it's such I think we're lucky in that we occupy a very lovely thing you know floral you know pe- mm. gardeners people tend to be lovely don't they you know and generous and supportive and so you sort of you feel quite cocooned in that um yeah 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 I'm 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 pretty on I'm slightly hyper at the moment I think because because I've put everything been wrapping loads of books <laughs> yeah yeah uh, but you know that I, I sat there wrapping yesterday and I thought gosh I feel so privileged to be able to do this you know how amazing is this to actually think of something and then to have this this book in my hand that people have been so mm. lovely about wow it is, it lucky, is me. Just lucky me just beautiful thank you so yeah I, I hope it gives we're people... quite proud of her aren't we we are quite proud of her oh, in fact I think it, we're very think we take some books. responsibility <laughs> 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 we are very proud thank you thank you so much so, so but it's without you know without support of your friends you know I don't know I think that's what makes it extra special actually is having that does that make sense yeah 
I think it does. And actually, it was, it was, I mean, we were very lucky we were at your book launch mm. and your family were there and everything. And they're so, so proud of you. And it's just so lovely to see that you've, you've just, you've just created this incredible thing and given it and put it out there. And your family love it and they're so proud of you. And it's, it's just, it's just a very, very special thing. I actually feel quite emotional about it. Oh. About it. But it is <laughs> though, isn't it? It's a really special thing. <laughs> it is. Yeah. And I, th- I think, I think that, that, I think if everybody must have asked the teenager, are you proud of her? Yes. <laughs> he must <laughs> have been so. Boy. But I know, but that's, you know, it was obvious <laughs> that they did. Yeah. The whole yeah. of the family were just so. Aww. And and you had such lovely yeah. friends around you as well. Yeah, so it was it was a privilege to be there. Yeah, it was a very special night, especially after everything we've been through over the last mm. couple of years. It was amazing to have lots of people in one place. Yes, it was really lovely. It? Yeah, and really to meet lovely. Vicky, mm. and to meet Vicky in yeah. real life instead yeah. of on our podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it was really lovely. Yeah. So um, finally, so... the container docked. Mm. Yeah, God. <laughs> People have got their books and they can't. No, just remind us one more time. Where can we get it, Luz? Down the river, <laughs> that big, big river. <laughs> <laughs> or um, uh, not off your website. <laughs> and I might see if I can get some more maybe for Christmas. Um, maybe stop, maybe just 10. So I don't, yeah. <laughs> I've got a pack Super exclusive. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, um, and, independent all those wonderful like waterstones and smiths and all the um barnes and noble and all those wonderful bookshops all across the world so yeah that's it fabulous <laughs> <laughs> well thanks Luz. going off for a little cruise welcome thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> enjoy i'm gonna turn recording off now okay <laughs> Okay, are we in a in a care home? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just because it caused such a hoo ha putting it on. <laughs> okay, I'm turning it off. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. You've been listening to the Restless Creatives podcast. To ensure you don't miss our next episode, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, the Restless Creatives podcast. If you'd prefer to listen rather than watch us, you can catch us on one of your favoured podcast providers. For more sneak peeks and behind the scenes fun, visit our Instagram at the.restlesscreatives or visit our website therestlesscreatives.co.uk.